We are basically going to talk about foods, drinks, and an oil, and some other stuff that isn't really good for you today. If you enjoy these, I'm not sure if you'll enjoy it after this. Who is really out here eating this? It's not going to be me. It's not. It's not. It, it is not going to be me. So basically, this could make you become a diabetic and more. Hey, it's Jay Leanne. Rhymes with Alien. Like if you're a fan, comment and subscribe. Hello, my name is Jillian, and before we start today's video, I just have to say that it's going to go from 18 all the way to number one. So I'm not sure if you'll be surprised at what's number one, but let's get started. Donuts. These sweet treats contain trans fats, processed sugar, and white flour, all of which are cancer-causing foods we have mentioned before. So keep away from them and stay healthy. High fat foods. Fat is limitedly linked to cancer, but eating high fat foods can cause other health problems, primarily obesity, which increases the risk of bowel, pancreatic, breast, and kidney cancer. Because we all want that. Next, non-organic fruits. Non-organic fruits are contaminated with some very dangerous pesticides such as a word that is very long and atrazine that cause severe problems in humans especially in our reproductive capabilities who is really out here eating this it's not gonna be me it's not it's not it, it is not going to be me red meat Studies have found that eating red meat every day, even in a small amount, increases a man's risk of dying from cancer by 22% and a woman's by 20%. Red meat eaters? I don't know what to tell you. Diet anything. Diet foods are chemically processed and generally contain aspartame, Aspartame generally contain this word, which causes many diseases such as cancers, birth defects, and heart problems. I guess we should not be dieting. If it's like this, you might as well not. Alcohol. A moderate consumption of alcohol can be healthy, but excessive drinking is the primary cause of heart failure, stroke, sudden death, female breast cancers, and more. Yes, because we would love to hear the excess after we just heard some of the worst things ever. It doesn't get any better than that, y'all. Artificial sweeteners. Splenda. Mounting evidence has proven that the chemicals that make up artificial sweeteners break down in the body as a deadly toxin called DKP, which can cause cancer, particularly brain tumors. Oh my goodness. GMOs. A study by the Rowett Institute found that rats fed GMO foods all show damaged immune systems. All showed damaged immune systems, precancerous cell growth, plus smaller brains and livers. Highly processed white flowers. Refining grain destroys its natural nutrients and gives it a very high glycemic rate which can quickly raise the blood sugar level and insulin levels so basically this could make you become a diabetic and more really pickled and smoked foods smoked foods contain considerable amounts of tar which is a known carcinogen 
Meanwhile, pickled foods cured by nitrates and also colored are associated with higher rates of colorectal and stomach cancer. I have a mom who loves smoked foods. Next, hydrogenated oils. Hydrogenated oils are frequently deodorized and colored to look appealing. They contain high levels of omega-6 fatty acids, which can cause heart disease and various cancers, especially skin cancer. <sighs> Potato chips. Potato chips are high in weight gaining elements and their excessive trans fats and sodium can cause high cholesterol and high blood pressure. And I'm sure there is a lot more that it can do. <sighs> but I think that's enough to stop more than half of the population from eating too much. But who knows? Next. Refined sugars. Back in 1931, German Otto Warburg, if I am not pronouncing that correctly, I sincerely apologize. The Nobel laureate in medicine first discovered that tumors and cancers both use sugars to feed themselves to proliferate. That does not sound good to me. Canned foods. Most cans contain a chemical known as bisphenol A or BPA. I should have just said BPA in the very beginning, which influences gene working. So most canned foods are said to make people vulnerable to cancer. That canned baked beans is not looking so pleasant right now. It's not looking too pleasant. Processed meats. Processed meats, including sausages, hot dogs, and bacon, harm your health with numerous chemicals and preservatives in them. This may be a favorite of some, the one I'm about to mention but are you gonna really be surprised about this one? Soda pop. Sodas full of sugar are a primary reason for nationwide obesity and can end in inflammation, insulin resistance, and gastroesophageal reflux disease, which I have, which is GERD. I have a video, I'll put it up there in the eye. And I didn't get mines like this, but yeah, you have to watch the video to check it out and see how I got mine, but this is a way you can get GERD. I would not recommend it. GERD is not something you want to suffer with. Next one, farmed salmon. Farmed salmon live on artificial foods and can be filled with chemicals, antibiotics, pesticides, and other known carcinogens. And it sounds so cute. It sounds so healthy because it farmed salmon, like just, it sounds like it's naturally made in a farm and everything's good, but then reading about it, no. And number one, I'm not sure if you'll be shocked about this or not, but you know, tell me what you think in the comment section about any one of these, any one of these, honestly. Do you think it's supposed to make the list or not? But let's go, number one microwaved popcorn microwave popcorn bags have this long word in it that i'm not going to struggle to try to pronounce so we'll just put it on the screen a toxin linked to infertility in women and increases the risk of kidney bladder liver pancreas and testicular cancers most popcorns use soybean oil, which can result in stomach problems and skin rashes. So my question is, out of this list, if you had to remove one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? 
because honestly if i could do without all of these completely i would definitely do it and especially number one microwave popcorn i don't eat it like that at all so i don't know if i have one bag of popcorn a year or less <laughs> that's it like i don't this is very scary stuff and with that said don't be too problematic be as polite as possible. I'll see you next time.